In this video, we make 12 days of Christmas themed ornaments using two different types of lasers. As a fun project, we wanted to make ornaments representing each of the 12 days of Christmas from the song of the same name. One of our in-house artists created a unique take on each theme. We were going to make them the traditional way by engraving and cutting them out of wood. But to make this more interesting, we decided to also do a full set of aluminum versions engraved and cut on our new fiber marking laser. The wood ornaments were engraved and cut out of an 8 inch walnut laminated sheet. I added application tape to both sides of the wood prior to lasering. The aluminum cards used with the fiber laser have an anodized or enameled coating depending on the color. They can be sourced really cheap online. We'll include links to all the materials used in the description below. If you're interested in making this, we'll make the template file available. Please see the description below to find out how to get it. For the fiber laser, I lined up one of the aluminum cards with my file and then taped it down. This gave me a temporary jig. All I had to do then was line up each card on top of it and I knew the material was centered correctly. The taped card also kept the laser from etching into the work area when it cut out each ornament. The aluminum did warp a little when it heated up, which kept the laser from making a perfect cut around each ornament, but I gave it enough passes that this wasn't really an issue. I could have taped down each card if I wanted to keep them from warping, but I got a little lazy. I had cut down the wood sheet that I masked earlier into pieces the same size as the aluminum cards for both convenience and for this video. Otherwise, I might have just engraved and cut out all the ornaments in just one go. Since I did separate out the jobs, I added some color to a few of the ornaments engravings for variety as you'll see. For the ornaments that I added paint, I only engraved the design and didn't cut out the shape until after the paint was applied. This kept me from having to mask off the edges. The application tape was left on throughout all processing to keep the wood clean on both front and back. This was especially helpful on the ornaments that had their engravings painted. I know I've said this before in other videos, but if you have a laser business and you're not selling ornaments, then you're really missing out. There might be a ton of competition out there for ornaments, but there's also tons of potential if you can somehow differentiate yours from the competition.
Thanks for watching. There's a link in the description to join our Patreon for access to all the designs and files shown in our videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.